Community activist Quanel X and the Rainbow Coalition spoke out tonight calling for justice in the case. We will not rest until you have been arrested. We want the suspect to know that we're going to look for you night and day, brother, until you are arrested. We want the suspect to know that the no snitch policy will never protect you in our community. Felicia Johnson was described by her dad as being a beautiful, loving soul who was kind and was a joy to everyone she met. Her future was bright with good things ahead of her. She lived in San Diego and wanted to see her family in Houston. And so she packed up and made the trip in early spring 2022. Kevin Johnson, Felicia's dad, said she was looking for a job and wanted to work at the CoverGirl Strip Club there in Houston. She went there on April 15th for a job audition and was turned down. While waiting on an Uber, a man at the club approached her and offered her a ride back to the hotel, and she accepted. Felicia was normally in constant contact with her family, and when no one heard from her on Friday night, they began to worry. The next day, her family tracked her phone to Bear Creek Park, which is four miles from the strip club. It was covered in blood laying on the side of the road. Her dad gave a statement to the local news station. I think she got caught up in one of those sex trafficking, human trafficking situations where they're snatching up these out-of-town girls and putting them to work. That's what I think happened to her. I don't have proof, but in my heart, I feel the strip club has something to do with it. Felicia's dad hired a private investigator to help find his daughter. When the strip club was asked for a comment, the local station was told that the owners never come to the establishment and there's no way to speak with them. That there's no need to contact the manager since he will not accept any calls. Texas EquiSearch came out to assist Felicia's family in trying to locate her. They sifted through the park where the phone was found and didn't find anything. Houston's police department got involved, and when they found out about the cell phone being covered in blood, they learned through Snapchat that Felicia was lured by 28-year-old Chuabuka Nuobodo with the promise of $500 to meet up with him. On May 13th, SWAT officers had to force their way into Nuobodo's apartment after trying to get him to come out. Detectives say they found a gun, gloves, large kitchen knife, and a shovel in the trunk and backseat of his car. He was detained and questioned, then ultimately released. Ms. Johnson was reported missing from the Intercontinental Houston Medical Center the day after she visited the strip club. Then on June 9th, police announced charges filed on the suspect. Nuoboto is charged with taking Felicia's life and tampering with evidence. In the 232nd State District Court, the police investigation uncovered that Johnson left the hotel in an Uber in the early hours of the next morning. Detectives learned that Nuoboto picked up Johnson from a Winchase Boulevard address, then took her over to a South Richmond Avenue address on April 16th. It is believed that he disposed of Johnson's body at some point in the next few days. April 17th, two days after Johnson vanished, investigators say Nuoboto bought a handheld power saw, towels, and trash bags. They searched his computer and says he was looking for things like, can bleach destroy DNA? How to get away with murder? How to be a serial killer? Even Googling Houston escorts. Texas EquiSearch came back to search the area again, and it is said that they found Felicia's purse. The Director of Human Trafficking Victim Services for Harris County Precinct 1 Constable's Office issued a warning to Houstonians who work in the sex industry saying that anybody can become a victim of a villain. 
Griffin's point is that Mrs. Johnson's death should not be in vain and should be a learning lesson. It is so dangerous and every media outlet should be screaming from the rooftops how dangerous this is. And let stories like this be known, said Griffin. On February the 7th of this year, an employee of Texas Department of Transportation found remains in the forest near Flamingo Lakes and Highway 149 and called law enforcement. Her family was notified and the remains were sent for DNA testing. Less than a month later, Montgomery County Sheriff's Office confirmed that the dental records matched and that the remains belonged to Felicia Johnson. Kevin Johnson's Felicia's dad search for his daughter was over and he could finally bring his baby girl home. The Sheriff's Department released a statement on Facebook that says, our hearts go out to the Johnson family and friends and we hope this brings them some closure. Her dad says, it hurts that this is confirmation, but part of me still felt she was alive, but it is also closure knowing I will have her body someday and soon. He has called on Houston law enforcement to hold a news conference to shine spotlight on the case and the fugitive who has family in Nigeria. My fear is that he is out of reach, but I believe the reason why her body was found is so she can return, can return, and get justice for herself. And this is the first piece of the puzzle, said her dad. Some would say Felicia was adventurous, a risk taker. Some might even say that she lived on the edge. I say she was a young lady who was loved by her family and did not deserve what happened to her. I pray that this evil demonic monster is caught and made to pay for what he has done. Justice for Felicia Johnson. Praying for the family and friends of Felicia Johnson. Please, please, please be respectful in the comments. Thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, please subscribe. Bye.